Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin, good morning. Well today we are at the dog house and Martini, baby May May, and Tucker are in desperate need of a grooming. The last one they had was right after Christmas before we went out west. So I'm going to leave the wolf pack here in good hands and go and run some errands today. Dog house on Millage in Athens, Georgia. I, uh, the groomer I use is Adam. He does fantastic work. So Tucker, you're going to get the normal cut. We're going to shave you down pretty good. Baby May May, oh, I've been growing out her coat now for about a year and a half. But, uh, shoo shoo tuck, shoo shoo tuck. Baby May May's. Oof. <laughs> she jumped in my arms. It's 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 beautiful. It's gorgeous, but it's kind of high maintenance. Martini, we're going to get her a close cut as well. I uh, I've been trying to get their groomings down to about four per year. Um, so 150 uh, bucks a pop times three is 150 four times a year is $600 just for haircuts for these little dogs. I'm glad y'all don't eat much. You ready? All right. Hey, Adam. See ya. This is the guy that grooms the wolf pack. Fire. <laughs> does a great job. I can't wait. Where are they? Are they home? Uh, one, one's in and uh, two, two are out. Fixing to bring them in to you. All right. You have another camper? Hey guys, guess what? Haircut day. <laughs> Haircut day. Time to get them. <laughs> uh, yeah, short of the short faces. Mm, just make the ears match good. Make the ears match good. Yep. You got a you got a kitty loose. Take them down. Yeah, that's flower. She's our shop cat. <laughs> the ferocious flower. <laughs> The dogs don't scare her? No, she's a dog now. She'll pant. Well, she's uh, giving your other one what for? Birth. What's the white dog's name? Um, that's Dallas. She's been with us for a little bit. They're like best friends now. Yeah, so cut them all short. Short. Uh, right Tucker, now. I'm not real concerned about. Uh, Martini and May May leave their ears. Do they get their little pot of cures? Oh, uh, yes, please. Dremel the nails? Yes, please. All right, back at the doghouse. Uh, Adam called me. He said he had all the wolf pack trimmed and cut and looking good. So. Let's go see their new haircuts. It's gonna be, they're gonna look a lot different than what you guys are used to. But uh, getting them a summer cut so they'll be more comfortable. And cutting them real close so they take a longer for the hair to grow back. So let's go see them. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Martini. Martini. I gave her three baits for him, uh, like four times. Um, is she on eardrops? Yeah. Um, so, okay, okay. I was like, what is up with this grease here? I can't get it. Can't yeah. get it to settle down. But how should it? Looks good. Oh. What do you think, Martinis? Oh. You look different. <laughs> good gracious. Nobody forgot about you. It's a tuck. How could anybody forget about Tucker? Tucker. <laughs> you ready to go home? <laughs> and there we go. There's the wolf pack. Thank you, Adam. Already. <laughs> Maybe you look so different. I look so different. Yeah, handsome fella. Baby Maymays. Woo, look at you. <laughs> She's so much darker. What happened to your silver hair? What happened to it all? What happened to it all? Look at you, Martini. Look at you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at you, Martini! Tuck, we all know what you look like. Yep, everybody looks different. Tucker, you're still a handsome boy. You know, 
You too pretty to be a boy. You too pretty to be a boy. You nut. You nut. You nut. And the martini. Got her hair cut. And the baby May May. She looks the most different. Hey, baby May Mays. Oh, everybody's so pretty. My, my, what a long tongue you have, Martini. How do you run? That thing not hit the floor. Good gracious. Yeah, everybody's ready for summertime. You know what the lady told me at the doghouse? She said, got cold weather coming in and the high is going to be in the 40s in the next couple days. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. That's why we waited as long as we did to get a haircut. You pretty thing. I got the best babies in the world. And I got Tucker too. <laughs> you funny. You funny, Daddy. You funny. You know you love me. I do. I do. I do love you, Tuck. Kiss camera. Mwah. All right. All right. Might as well use this time to. Oh, let's go back. Aaron here. To make this a little bit of an update video too. Well, I sure wished I had my my baseball cap on. I left it this morning. All right. First things first, let's talk about the, my black tank issue that I had. You know, I was thinking that it was maybe only five gallons, and then I was thinking that the water from the sink was going in and filling it up. All right, here's what happened. The water from the sink was going into the black tank. Turns out that is a very common thing manufacturers do to add water to the black tank so the solids don't kind of take over. Now just because I've been around RVs all my life, I don't have all the answers, okay? When it was up on the lift and he was adding the support to the steps where the steps broke, I looked under and I noticed both tanks were the same size. They were, they were 30 gallons. So when I got it home that evening, the orange Home Depot bucket that I got uh, in Lake Havasu, I made sure the tank was completely empty, the black tank and I poured in six buckets before the water come up into the toilet. It's 30 gallons. My sensor was showing full at five to 10 gallons. I don't know. I took a flashlight, I turned the, cut the water off at the pump, took a flashlight, looked down in there. To me, it looked like the water was at the top of the tank. So it holds a lot of water, a lot more water, even though it looks like it's full. I just made a mistake. So my sensor must have some kind of trash or paper or something on it, causing a false reading. 30 gallons take me a long time to fill up 30 gallons. What, two, three weeks? <laughs> I messed up, but sure I'm happy. Uh, the bucket is now out of here. Um, Going and dumping my black tank every two or three weeks is not an issue. It's a non-issue. But uh, I was assuming that I only had five gallons and that was an issue. Now, my next issue was my air conditioner quit when I was out west. Uh, I've got that resolved. I knew it wasn't the compressor because I still had pressure and everything and it wasn't a belt or bearings and uh, uh, pulleys or anything like that. It just quit. And this has never happened to me before. And I hope I say it right. But a field coil that goes around the compressor that cuts it on and off was bad. I had to replace that and while I had it at the mechanic shop this is the very best thing that I have done to my, my BT Cruiser. You monkey. You monkey. I put some uh, air shocks on the back of this thing. And run air lines to where I can, can fill them. They're capable. It's the best thing I ever did for my uh, tan camper van as well. Put 150 pounds on them. When I backed off the rack, I bet I didn't back out of the shop 20, 30 feet. My rig felt different. By the time I got to the highway from the shop, I was grinning from ear to ear. 
completely changed the way that this RV rides. I think the shocks were they were on $75, $80, maybe $85. Got them on eBay, and they charged me like uh, $300 for the air conditioner, and I think it was $125 or $150 to put on the air shocks. And now this thing's riding great, and uh, ice cubes fall out of the dash. This thing's always had great air conditioning, <laughs> which, I, which I, I like. I really like air conditioning working outside mostly for the last three decades i really appreciate appreciate air conditioning so one last thing right martini now the next thing is well kevin where's the geo tracker what you doing monkey what are you doing the geo tracker has set at my transmission guy's shop okay for two weeks and I called him up after it sat there a week and he said he was swammed and that he would call me when he looked at it. And that was a week ago. I don't like it. I wished I had it. I could still have been using it for the last two weeks, some. Uh, you know, around the house, kind of taking it easy. I could have rode trails and all that easy. It's the, I believe it's the clutches and the upper gears. I don't know yet. He's gonna find out and tell me. So, but he is the best in this area, period. So, I'm not in a hurry for it. I don't have to have it. Um, so, I'm going to wait on it and, and be glad when I get it back. So, there's my update. Hope you enjoyed my little video here. I've got to uh, get on with my day. But uh, I'll see you guys again soon. I appreciate each and every one of you for, for watching. Um, we're getting just tons of views on, uh, on our videos. Just tons and tons. I can't thank you enough. It, it's making it fun. And uh, all right, we end the video right here. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.